Oh look, another splendid video on watches. Hit that like button immediately. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you that you can now receive a special discount on your next watch from Watchbox. Check the description below for a promo code exclusively for the good gentry. For those of you new to the channel, Watchbox are the world's leading, most trusted and respected dealers in pre-owned luxury watches. Onwards and upwards. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And today I'm gonna do another strap video. Now, I know it's been absolutely donkey's years uh, since I made a video like this. I used to do them more frequently back in the day, but quite simply, the reason is because a lot of these straps, I haven't felt the need to replace or, or find anything, or actually, to be honest, I haven't found anything better. Um, so a lot of old favorites, some new additions, which I think uh, are worthy to, to talk about. Um, so excuse the mess, obviously I have absolutely tons of straps and I must point out these are all straps that I have personally bought myself. Um, I very much believe, if you're familiar with the channel, that I only recommend things that, uh, are, well, on the merits of their quality, value for money, um, design, so on and so forth. Um, so these are what I personally love and wear and what I think um, is worthy to be uh, recommended and it gets the uh, you know the uh, urban gentry seal of approval so to speak so uh, let me just get the wristwatch check out of the way first i'm wearing the yemma um, because it's the only, well i've kept it on the bracelet there so um, still absolutely loving this french made classic um, the heritage superman there and fittingly called the heritage because of course it has an amazing history not just the brand uh but the um the watch itself so anyway um let's get into it we'll we'll start with the uh, the skx here and before i forget this particular rubber strap from craft to blue was originally designed for this particular watch or the the skx 009 and i've actually borrowed this watch in merely to to show off this strap because as you guys know i own the 013 now they don't make this in the smaller size unfortunately but i have seen on their website they're working on a um, host of 20 millimeter because the the skx has that famous 22 millimeter lug width they are working on a bunch of these for rolex uh, submariners and of course uh, other seikos uh, but the great thing is that this size is compatible with the new 5kx so that is pretty cool indeed now these straps come in a variety of colors i've talked about crafter blue before i haven't found any rubber straps uh, well except for one we'll talk about in just a moment that surpasses the quality i mean look it's got beveled edges this is what is called a vulcanized rubber now all the rubber straps i personally buy and recommend are from vulcanized rubber and essentially what that is it's a superior strength it's more resistant than natural rubber it's more resistant to oils and acids the crafter blue straps they actually meet the rohs requirements and so therefore they uh, are very friendly to your skin the chances of actually getting an allergic reaction from their products is extremely extremely low now these are about 65 bucks and i think they are great value for money you can get them in a variety of colors i have a green one here um, and you, they just come like this uh, and they're faintly scented with vanilla it's not the the oris level of of um, <laughs> that really um pungent uh, but but yet so pleasing smell of vanilla but it, it's it's very subtle they are wonderful on the wrist the way they carry on the the, the shape of the lugs and integrate beautifully with the watch i mean you can tell it's designed for this watch uh, they just continue that flow of the case masterfully um, and also i love the way the 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 hardware on it the brushed uh, tongue you've got a lot of different 
holes there. That's the advantage of having it flat rather than just a round um, tongue to the to the buckle. So you really get a good fit, and you can just uh, size it on the in-between sizes to, to get supreme comfort. And I think they come with, hang on, hold on a moment, let me just check. Yeah, they come with the two two loops. I've actually taken one off on this and I'm, I'm enjoying, I must admit, having the old SKX, this old friend back. Um, these are really great quality, very, very well made, beautifully designed. I'm certainly gonna pop one on. Uh, my Explorer or my Tudor Submariner, for example, or even my GMT for that matter. Now talking of divers, let's move on. Uh, let's just pop that out of the way over here. Let's pop that down there. Um, the NDC, now you guys know I'm a big fan of this brand. Um, NDC is the, the legitimate, it's the actual, the only company in the world that makes it out of the new old stock materials um, as used by the Marine Nationale uh, back in the day. So this is the real McCoy. And it's this kind of elasticated uh, material um, that you can, obviously, I, I, you know, I, I needn't mention with the rubber strap that, you know, this is, this is water resistant. Well, this, you can also dive in it. Um, some bright spark at the Marine Nationale uh, decided to cut the material off his parachute bag and use it as a strap. Hence why you never really get a, a proper fit. Um, now, of course, there are reproductions. I have here a, uh, this is from Erica's Originals. And it's <laughs> rather misleading. It has MN on the, the buckle, uh, which is funny because the Marine Nationale never, ever use these. Uh, this is a nice kind of recreation or uh, interpretation of the original um, and these are fairly good quality it's not the same material as this um, as I said this is the this is the real McCoy but the advantages of these is they fit better I think this is a 20 millimeter and they have much more designs because obviously uh, this is a reinterpretation if you want the real McCoy go for the NDC but if you want more fun kind of cool modern interpretations go with the Erica's. Uh, they're both very, very good. Personally, I prefer the NDC. Uh, you, you, you guys know I, I love having, you know, the, 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 the provenance, um, the historicity, the genuine historicity to it. Now, this is a little special one they made for, just for me uh, with the Italian colors on it. And I've actually cut the, it comes like this. Let me show you a different, let me just show you here. This is how it comes. You get the signed buckle now. Uh, back in the day, they, they didn't do that, obviously, but, uh, and then it's attached, it's stitched there. This is a red variant. Um, I think these are a little bit rarer. I do forgive me. Again, factually, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. What I've done is I've actually cut the extra strap off just to get it a little bit more thinner than what I've done. I've just melted it down with a, with a lighter and I've folded this back so it's got the thickness and it just stays very, very securely just thread it back. So when you've got the buckle or the hook into this little uh, rudimentary loop here, it actually increases the pressure down on the material so you, it's tight, it doesn't come off. And the advantage of these is, uh, the, especially for divers, is that you could just slide this to, to your convenience and it would stretch over a diver's suit. So in a military context, um, and obviously with this buckle system, it was quite secure. And also like a NATO strap is attached to both spring bars. So if you do get a spring bar failure, it's still attached to the wrist. This is the most historically accurate configuration, the most common. You'll see this in the Marine Nationale um, watch history book that I've reviewed. And they summed it up nicely. Uh, they are, I think, priced around the same. Don't don't quote me. I think this is about 45 quid or something. I don't, can't remember how much that relates to dollars. You'll have to see how much the Erica straps are. Think of the straps like this. The NDC is the Rolex um, of these parachute straps. It's the real McCoy. It's the original. Uh, it's the genuine material and the only company that actually do this. The Erica's original is a bit like a Steinhardt. While it's absolutely perfectly capable, uh, very, very well made. It's a homage to this. Um, you can see the difference in color. They are around about the same price. So, you know, unless you prefer this, then go for that. But to be honest, um, 
I will I will go with the real thing. You know, it depends what you value, uh, and and the material is a little bit different. This is a more matte. This is kind of shiny. This has a a really nice elastication to it, whereas this is a little bit more rigid. It's not as high quality, um, and it's not as comfortable. Uh, I have to be honest. So there you go. But anyway, okay. Next we have the Fortis. Uh, this is a very tooltastic kind of uh, f all about function. And I was wearing where is it? Hold on. There we go. This is the Kodora. These are great straps. And this being in aviation, well, before it went into space, obviously aviation chronograph it was a great match um, it really suited the the bead blasted kind of no nonsense aesthetic but since then i've put it on this and this is a and i have to be very specific here it's not kevlar it's kevlar style now you if you read the reviews on amazon a whole bunch of people didn't read that they misread it and were angry that it wasn't real kevlar well kevlar despite being extremely strong is very plasticky this is a composite of various materials. I think it's a, a blend of, of nylon and leather, but it, it, it has the appearance of Kevlar. The advantage is, if I just get a little case here, there we go. It's water resistant, comes in this little case like that. All the Hadley Romas come in a case like this. Uh, I love Hadley Roma. They are made in America, uh, very modestly priced. I mean, look, 21 bucks for this. This is the absolute business. And you can see it started to, to kind of it has a bolstered, very thick construction. But if you see there, I, I've worn this a couple of times for a few days and it started to form the, around the shape of my wrist. So it also tapers nicely. This, I believe, is the 22 millimeters. It goes down to about 18. Uh, the buckle, nothing to write home about the buckle, but this is an entry level Hadley Roma. I just love this kind of utilitarian look. I think it matches the watch and the, the stitching on the sides is black as well. So it it's, doesn't detract too much at attention away, but it has this wonderful texture to it. Okay, next uh, is my little AP here. Now this is the actual strap it came with. Let me just, I don't think it's signed. I think it's actually faded. Oh no, it's, it's signed there. There we go. There you see, Adumar Piguet, genuine crocodile strap, and it's incredibly slender, obviously, to match the watch. I've kept it on the strap because I think it works beautifully. It's just so classic and elegant. But I wanted to see if I could find some other crocodile straps. Now, the thing with crocodile is that it's extremely expensive. For example, I have this one from Hadley Roma. Again, uh, hypoallergenic, yeah, water resistant, the calf skin uh, underside. Um, but as you see, the retail is about $109, although it, you'll probably find it for less. That is unfortunately what crocodile costs. A little tip, make sure you, you ch select the, the, the tone of the buckle to match the watch. Um, sometimes I've actually ordered incorrectly and I forgot all about it. But anyway, uh, this is a wonderful kind of uh, burgundy red rich wine color I think it's incredibly uh, smart and um, um, I guess luxurious is the, is, the, is the correct word now there are uh, cheaper alternatives you can go with this which is um, leather done in a crocodile style so it's a crocodile pattern but it's it's just leather it's not actual real crocodile and then you see the the price difference between it uh, this is also water resistant and made in the USA, just like all Hadley Roma. Now there is another company that I've recommended before called Tech Swiss or, or Swiss Tech, I can never remember, uh, which I've put on my wife's Seiko Saab here. This is genuine and they they a little bit cheaper, about I think about 50, 60 bucks um, and then leather on the underside. Uh, if you see here, what is it? it says, yeah, genuine, genuine crocodile, handmade in Italy. How they are able to sell this at such cheap prices, I have no idea. But as you can see, it's it's the real deal and really lovely texture and nice selection of colors. These you have to get on eBay. I don't think they have a website, but again, you know, I'll leave links down below. Uh, if you want something very classic, something very elegant, sophisticated, crocodile genuine crocodile or you know leather in you know crocodile style or alligator style or whatever uh is 
definitely the way to go. You can even go more uh, ostentatious or um, flamboyant with kind of Python. There are some companies that did that, have a look back in my previous videos. The only problem with Python and genuine snake leathers is they tend to flake where if you look at this, this is, has seen a lot of wear. And you know, it's got a little patina where, I mean, but it adds the, the, to the charm that that distressed look, well, the, the nice segue into the next one, which is an old favorite, Collareb. Now I adore Collareb. They are a family business based in Rome. Italy is famed for their leather goods. Beautifully made. There you go, vera pelle, which means real leather. Very thick, distressed, uh, vintage looking. Suits the Dan Henry or a Speedmaster or a, you know, Universal Geneva, whatever you want, perfectly. Uh, the dyes involved uh, in this kind of traditional style of of uh, leather strap making. It's not one that I would wear at the beach or if you're actually gonna go into the water. Then I would go with a rubber strap. With the distressed look, you get these kind of lovable minor imperfections, this tonal graduations uh, that gives it this rustic charm. This is actually my favorite and uh, I just love the gray. This is the Firenze gray and they name all their straps after famous cities in Italy. So there's Firenze, there's Venezia, there's Siena, there's uh, Roma, etc., etc. You have the little stitching. You can have a choice of short or long styles. And as these age and become more distressed, they uh, take on this whole unique character. No two straps are the same. Even when you buy them from new, uh, they all have all their distinctive kind of wear on them. Um, wonderful patina, a bit like actual patina on the dials of watches. It just has that character. I love them. So these taper nicely. Now it depends on what design you go for, uh, but they're very strong, very rugged, thickly constructed, uh, which then translates to a very comfortable wear. Uh, I love the different colors. I have the blue here. Let me just show you the blue there. These are probably my two favorites. I think this is the Siena or the Roma. I can't quite remember, uh, but you see they have different different stitching. There you see. I go by color really and the fit, but the gray just works with pretty much anything. These are a little bit expensive, about 63 bucks, but you know, uh, if you look around for this kind of high-end quality of luxury quality that handmade straps like this is actually a bargain. You'll see certain publications with their luxury straps asking, you know, twice as much, um, really jacking up the, 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 the prices, um, merely as an exploitation, but I love the fact that Collareb don't do that. Now you can order these directly from their website, from Collareb, which are great. Uh, I've ordered from them many times. They do case, watch cases, all the rest of it, or from Holbins uh, in the United States. And I think some other people carry them too. Now this is a um, lizard grain style. Again, leather, not genuine lizard. And this is from, I think this is from, this is Hirsch, that's it. Hirsch. Now this is a little dress watch I picked up quite recently and it has an odd size, which is, yes, yeah, 17 millimeters. So I had to order this just for this watch, but incredibly thin. Again, you can pick these up from Holbens, like the dress watch we see here, super slender style, it lends itself perfectly for use as uh, for a dress watch to slide under any cuff. I, you know, I, I didn't really have much choice with the odd sizes. The strap here tapers ever so slightly by about two millimeters. Um, I do love it when the straps taper. I think it adds a more graceful flow to its design. And also if you want more lizard style, check out du uh, Dubair's, which I think are from Paris. Very affordable, great quality. Right, let's move on to the flighty here. Um, oh, and I should mention, by the way, uh, Colin Reb do vegan straps too. So if you have an issue with leather, um, they do all kinds of different, uh, I'll show you this one. Hold on, if it focuses, there you go. This is uh, a really interesting kind of pattern. On to the flighty. Now this is a German company called Rios, uh, Rios 1931. Again, another family company, but this is quite important because they invented this Ramboard technique. Now I've mentioned them before, if you've seen the cognac uh, buffalo leather 
strap that tapers dramatically, almost like a kind of bunt strap that I had on my Navi timer. I've actually just ordered another one of those straps for myself in black this time to go with my um, Cosmonaut uh, Navi timer because I just loved it so much. Incredibly comfortable, beautifully made, beautifully stitched. I mean, look at the stitching, the pattern. Now this is the Typhoon and you can get it in a variety of colors. It has this uh, little subtle taper here and then goes down. Very, very cool. Being so thick, it places the watch securely on the wrist and they have the 21 millimeter size, which as you guys know, if you know the flighty, it has that annoying lug width. Uh, so I bought this strap just for this. I cannot recommend them enough. If you've got an IWC or perhaps a, a Flieger by Stover or, or a Lacquer or something like that, this is what you want to do because they've been in this uh, uh, business for three generations. They're 3.5 millimeters thick here and it really gives a solid reassuring fit to the watch. I mean, look at it, it's almost as thick as the lugs. Complete opposite of this little skinny, slender, dressy type uh, number we had before. Uh, it's amazing how different leather straps can be. And I think for an aviation piece, this is definitely the way to go. And the cognac is, is a wonderfully rich, vibrant uh, uh, color as well. Now moving on to the Squally 1521 Diver, to match the little orange accents on the luminous dial here, I've paired it with the Bonetto Cinturini rubber strap. Now I've talked about them before, let me just bring in uh, this particular version that I have reviewed. This is another style, kind of accordion style here. Uh, I've been wearing it on my um, 30 Atmos and I absolutely love it. This is incredibly comfortable. Uh, these are from Italy, they're made in Italy, as the name suggests. Now, Bonetto Cinturini, they actually do make straps for a, a lot of other high-end watch brands. Wonderfully vanilla scented. This is a more simple, if I just show you side by side, a lot more simple. This is actually quite expensive. Um, this is about 30 bucks, but if you look on the underside, it has uh, almost like a waffle dial. Uh, effect texture for extra grip now this is very very high quality it's um, again vulcanized rubber it's uh, nitrile NBR rubber uh, so it's not it's not silicon sorry hold on one second once again Philly's finest I haven't actually worn this I, I bought this for the summer but uh, with <laughs> with the current situation it doesn't look like I'm, I'm gonna be wearing this much um, in the pool or at the beach or anything like that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to enjoy it. Uh, so obviously you have the waterproof resistance that uh, rubber naturally provides. It's non-toxic, non-allergenic. Uh, this is a higher quality rubber, so it doesn't attract uh, lint. Another telltale sign of the high quality here is that it's very supple to the touch. It has a soft feel to it, but at the same time is very, very strong. And that's what you want to look out for. It's also resistant to salt uh, in, in salt water, obviously, and UVA rays, which is really, really cool. And of course, you've got that vibrant, fun kind of summer color. Uh, now, if you notice, there's no holes on it. So what you do is it comes with perforated little guides and you just poke through the, de the desired hole and then um, it gives a kind of more streamlined look which I think is quite neat. Remarkable that such a high quality product, very, very strong, resistant, um, luxurious materials at such an affordable level. I mean, we're talking 30 bucks here, which is just really, really cool. Um, so incredible value for money. Now I should not neglect to mention this comes in a variety of sizes. Uh, have a look at the Holbens website again. Uh, I'm not sure if you can order directly from Benetto Cinturini, but Holbens is where I buy mine. Um, they also have an eBay store, by the way, so uh, there you go. Okay, moving on to NATO straps. Now, you guys know I love my NATO straps, uh, and I've bought many from uh, cheapest NATO straps, from Wrist Candy Watch Club, but in my opinion, when it comes to the best, it's Phoenix. For the design, um, the, the, the quality of the nylon, it's a very tight stitching and the colors, but also historically, I mean, Phoenix were the original uh, suppliers to um, the Royal Navy and the initial genuine straps that were heat welded 
as specified by the Ministry of Defence. Doesn't really get more historic than this, and obviously I've put it on the Fleming. Uh, I love the Bond colours. Now you can buy these online, you can either get them from CWC Watch dot com directly as you guys know they make uh, military watches uh, for the british armed forces and have been for well since i think um since world war ii um and you can find them online on ebay although the ebay ones for some reason are really overpriced uh, i wouldn't pay more than than you know 15 bucks for for one of these uh if you want to get the very first one you want to go for the um historically accurate Admiralty Grey, which is the very first NATO strap. It does have, if you just look at the buckle there, if this thing will focus, there you go, it's just signed Phoenix. Uh, you can even specify if you want to have British military markings on it as well, although I've never gone in for that. Yeah, you can go swimming with them. I, I, just, I just really love Phoenix. I think they make the best uh, NATO straps. Um, it's a bit like the NDC, going back to the NDC, if you want, you know, there's there's tons of NATO straps out there, but if you want the real deal, you know, the, the one with the military prominence, you, you go um, with Phoenix. And as we mentioned, uh, Risk Candy Watch Club, who incidentally have made my Valor strap, which I mentioned before, which I designed, these are great. But where they really excel is their newer, um, Perlon straps, my little Vietnam era Benrus here. And I have to say that their first Perlon straps were, were okay, cheap as chips, but um, were pretty good. And then I discovered this brand, which is called Ulit. Uh, there you go. I don't know if this is going to focus. There we go. Uh, this is the Panama strap. These I bought new for, for dress watches, and I kind of was converted to those. You know, I thought those were the best. But then Risk Candy Watch Club came out with the melange patterns uh, in a variety of colors. I'll just show you here. They have um, the, a really nice dark olive green, very military-esque. I should have bought one of these, uh, sorry, one of these in that size, the 18 millimeter to fit this. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that, but anyway. Uh, and then you've got navy blue and a, a bunch of colors. I have to say this one is my favorite. It's a mix of different threads. So you've got white, you've got black, you've got gray. And the result is this, well, as the name implies, the melange. Very, very cool. It's water resistant. You can have it to fit any way you want because you just, it's a, it's a kind of basket weave and you just poke it through at the, the desired amount. It's, it's just very comfortable. Um, it's thin, quite a tough uh, nylon, but breathable too you, you can just see that it's, you can see right through it if you see what i mean there but they've upped the game uh, th their first buckles were a little bit flimsy these are vastly superior so great for summer you know great for if you're not into nato straps but you want something with the security of going through both spring uh, uh i was gonna say spring guards um spring bars uh there you go and very very affordable i mean this is 13 bucks Again, I'll put the link down below. Um, I cannot recommend this enough. I actually wore this uh, over the weekend. Absolutely perfect. And, and kind of dressy too, a little bit more elegant than, than the, uh, the NATO strap. So you can wear, you can put this on dress watches. That's why I bought these ones from Ulit, which I now regret. I should, <laughs> should have saved my money and, and got these but, um, or more of these. But anyway, now a few notable mentions. Uh, there's, you can go with, uh, I've reviewed these. these I've, suede straps which are excellent um, there's ostrich i haven't actually even worn this yet this is from hadley roma again this is the ostrich uh, very expensive but genuine ostrich for kind of more vintagey look gonna enjoy wearing that um but that's about it that, th this is in my opinion the the best brands the best um uh, uh, quality out there and, and good uh, value for money. I mean, I think their prices are realistic. They're not being, you know, overly greedy like uh, so many of these so-called uh, luxury strap makers that just gouge with their prices to horrendous levels. But anyway, there you go. I'm going to enjoy wearing these. 
Uh, let me know your thoughts down below, especially your favorite straps. Uh, which of these have you tried? Which do you recommend? Do share in the comments below. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, found it useful. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao. We all work hard for our money. So when it comes time to spend it on a luxury watch, the best way to take your money furthest is to buy pre-owned. With some dealers, this might be risky, but not at Watchbox. As a former customer, it was only natural I became part of the Watchbox family. I fell in love with the easy, safe and professional manner in which they do business. So why are they so highly regarded? Authenticity is always guaranteed. Every watch comes with a two-year warranty and Watchbox has their own in-house Swiss-trained expert watchmakers. They have a global presence and an unrivaled selection. It's simply the best way to buy, sell and trade your watches from the comfort of your own home anywhere around the world. With a team comprised of passionate watch enthusiasts. As an urban gentry viewer, you can also benefit from this wonderful partnership with Watchbox. They are generously offering all Gentry members and viewers exclusive discounts on their next purchase. Please check the description below for the promo code to enter on their website. Watchbox is not just the best option to consider, it's the future of buying and selling watches online.